Timothy 1 and 11. Then yeah, we'll go to Colossians 3.23 again. Amen. 1 Timothy 1 and 11, first of all. First Timothy 1, verse number 11. According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. If you wouldn't know, if you would turn over me to back over to Colossians 3, 23 again. Amen. As we've been reading every one of these messages. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. If you would just pray with me. Lord, I thank You for bringing us here. Lord, I ask You to anoint me, Lord, for without Your anointing I can do nothing, God. But we know by that anointing that all things are possible. God, speak as only You are able to do in this place today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. We're gonna, I'm going to talk to you today one more time about dedication to the call. Amen. We've been preaching about being dedicated and being faithful. Dedicated and we're talking about being dedicated and faithful to the call of God. We, I preached two messages on this. Amen. First, amen, to preach to you was being dedicated to where God has called you to be as an assembly together church. Amen. We have all been called, amen, to where God, God has placed us all right here in Pentecostal Lighthouse. Amen. So we talked about that. Amen. Then we talked about dedicated, amen, to the position that we're, uh, that we're at. Amen. Not so much the ministry, and that's what we're going to talk about today, but amen, uh, but we talked about, amen, about that call to be a Christian. Amen. Call the family. Amen. Different things like that. And today, amen. Amen. We're going to preach the last message on being dedicated to the call today. Amen. We're going to be talk. I'm going to talk to you about being dedicated to the call of the ministry or what God has called us to do in the work of God. Amen. We are. We must be dedicated in everything that we do. We must be faithful. The Bible says, "Amen." It's required of a steward that he be found. Faithful. He is going to work for God. It is required that he be found faithful. Amen. It is required that each and every one of us, what we do for God, how we do everything for God. Amen. It can be applied to every one of these messages that I preached. Everything that we do to God, that we be dedicated and that we be faithful in everything that we do. Amen. So that's what we're going to talk about in the ministry today. Uh, talk about the ministry today. Amen. First Timothy 1 and 11 where I read to you, according to the glorious God, gospel of the blessed God which was committed to my trust. Amen. I've talked to you about out of this verse before. Amen. Paul, amen, said that he was entrusted with this gospel. Amen. We must know that we have been entrusted with this gospel. Amen. That's what I, I just read to you. It says in Strong's here, it says it was committed to my trust means to be, it means to entrust. God has God has entrusted us with this gospel. God has entrusted us to preach this word. God has entrusted us to be a light to a lost and dying world by preaching the word, sharing the word, declaring Jesus, making Jesus known. Amen. God has entrusted us to do so. Amen. So, amen. This is just going to, I'm just going to lead in with this, but amen. We have been given a great responsibility. Every, each and every one of us have a responsibility to share Jesus, to make Jesus known. He said, if I be lifted up, then I'll draw all men unto me. Yes, everybody may not be a preacher, but everybody must lift Christ up must make Christ known to a lost and a dying world. Amen. We have been entrusted with this gospel. Amen. We must be dedicated to what God has entrusted us with. Amen. If God has entrusted you with such a wonderful God gospel, why would we not be doing our part and be dedicated to what He has told us to do? 
Amen. Amen. Whether God's called you to preach in the pulpit, or God has called you to be a missionary, or God has called you, amen, to be just a witness. Amen. Or be a witness. Whether God, whatever God has called you to be, amen, we must be dedicated to doing so. Yes. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Uh, well, we have not only been entrusted, but I believe commanded, amen, to be dedicated to the call of God. Amen. And we'll get to more of it in a moment, but I do believe everybody is got called to do something for God. Amen. Now, everybody's not called to stand behind a pulpit. Absolutely not. Amen. But everybody is called to do something for God. Amen. Mark 16, 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. God uh, God can committed this to our trust. Amen. And we must be dedicated. We must be given over to. Amen. Doing what God has told us to do. Amen. If God has already commanded for us to do it. Amen. As my dad said. People get up in the mornings and say. Should I be a witness this morning? Amen. What well, that goes without saying. Why should you even ask such a question? Should I be a witness this morning? I'm going to pray to God. And see if I need to be a witness. Amen. You of course. You are to be a witness. This scripture has already made it known. That go into all the world. And preach the gospel. Go into all the world. And make Christ known to a lost and dying world of course you should be a witness today amen. amen we have been we have been commanded to go and do a do, do a work for god amen we are we are commanded to do what he has entrusted us to do he's given us such a wonderful wonderful gospel why would we not be doing what he has already he has entrusted us with amen to be dedicated with to this gospel amen we are amen we must be dedicated to whatever god has called you to do in His kingdom. Amen. I'm going to tell you, be dedicated. It may not be necessary what your flesh wanted in the first place, but be dedicated to what God has told you to do. Amen. If God has called you, whatever God has called you to be a missionary, be dedicated to what God has called you to do. If God and God has called you, He has not healed, but God has called you to be a witness, be dedicated to that which God has called you to do. Amen. If God calls you one day to be a pastor of a church, be dedicated to that call that God has called you to do. Amen. Whatever God has called you to do, be dedicated to that call. Amen. He has us doing a work in the kingdom. God knows what we need to do when we need to do it. Amen. As I've often told you, I told, I said to God, and I said to myself and others in the past that I'm not going to pastor a church. Amen. But God knew what I needed to do. He knew what I needed, but I didn't know what I wanted or I needed. But I, amen. When God gave the call, I had. To accept that call. And not only did I have to accept that call. But I had to be dedicated to that call. That God has called me to do. Amen. Whatever He calls us to do. We must be dedicated for it. We must be dedicated to whatever it is. We must not take it lightly what God has called us to do in His kingdom. Amen. So many will take it very lightly. Amen. What God has called them to do. They'll pick, they want to pick and choose when they're going to do what God has called them to do. They want to say how they're going to do what God has called them to do. And where they're going to do what God has called them to do. And when they're going to do what God has called them to do. Amen. It's not up to us. It's not up to us to take it lightly. Amen. We must be dedicated to do it when, where, how. Amen. He calls us to do it. That's right. That's amen. Right. No, amen. It's not. Amen. It's not up to us. We ta- we can't take this lightly. Amen. Say, well, I'll do it when I make more money. Amen. I'll do it when it's easier for me. I'll do it when every situation is right. Well, I'm going to tell you. Many people's told me, Amen. If you wait to have children till every situation is right, you'll never have children. And I'm going to tell you this also. If you wait to do what God has called you to do till when every situation is right. 
right, you'll never do anything for God. Amen. There's going to be hardship in this life. There's going to be, there's going to be struggles. There's going to be trials. There's going to be things you go to. Amen. There's going to be times when your banking account is empty. But I'm going to do what God has called me to do. Whether it costs me, amen, or I, whether I have to live poor, amen, or God blesses me and I have, I have whatever thing that I need, amen, whatever it takes, I'm, I must not take it lightly. I must be dedicated to what does God has called me to do in this kingdom. We must not ever take this calling lightly, amen. This calling is something great, amen. The call of God is great, amen. Well, whatever He tells us to do, we must say, yes, God, I'll do what you want me to do and when you want me to do it. Amen. And I'm going to tell you too, amen, we all, as I said, we've all been called to be a witness and we'll get to more of that, I know, in a moment, but amen. We must, when God tells us that we're to share this gospel, we need to do it and not take it lightly. Amen. Not say, well, God, this ain't the time and the place. God knows all. Amen. We need to listen to the leading of the Spirit. Amen. Of course, Amen. The leading of the Spirit is always going to lead us according to the Scripture. We talked about that in Sunday school this morning. If anybody tells you that God led them to do something that's not found in this Scripture, or God led them to do something that's contrary to that Scripture, Amen. God has never led anybody to do anything contrary to the Word of God. Amen. It would be taking it lightly, Amen, if it's contrary to that Scripture. But if it's a, if it's according to that glorious Gospel and that glorious Word of God, we. We must do it as the Holy Ghost leads us to do it. Amen. We must never take this God, this uh, this uh, call lightly. Amen. If you're called of God, be willing to do what God has told you to do when He tells you to do it. Amen. Now, amen. I, I, amen. There is sometimes God uses a proving process, or God gets you ready for it. Amen. Not everybody that uh, that gets born again and called to preach. Amen. And maybe even God tells them to be a pastor one day is automatically ready to lead a church and become a pastor. Not everybody immediately is ready for that. It does take discipleship, amen, and preparing to get to that place. Not everybody's ready, amen, to go over to the mission field, amen. They must be mature in Jesus and be everything that Jesus has them to be. But don't also, don't want to take it lightly and say, well, amen, I'm going to take my time. Brother, amen, that one, that one preacher said, and we're, we're invincible to the will of God's done for us. A wonderful, wonderful quote, but Brother Clinton Dennis said, I, I agree with that quote, but amen. Don't wait too long. Amen. And don't just piddle around and wait. Amen. God has a time that He wants us to do what He has called us to do. Don't take it lightly. If God has told you to do it now, amen, and led to the authority, do it when God has you to do it. Amen. Don't take this ministry lightly. This ministry is not something to play around with. Amen. It's not a pastime. It's not a hobby. But it's something, amen, God has entrusted us with. Amen. If He's entrusted me with it, I must take it and, uh, I must take it and do what God has had me to do. The Bible calls us ambassadors of Christ. Why? Amen. Every ambassador is entrusted, amen, with this, by this country, amen, to represent this this country bear uh, we represent this country rightly. Well, I'm going to tell you is a, is a with the call of God. You have called by the king in the kingdom of God by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords to aim and to represent Christ rightly and we must be willing to do so and not take it lightly. If an ambassador amen takes it lightly on representing this country and doesn't do it rightly, there's great repercussions for it. And if you take it lightly and don't do what God has called you to do and how and when and where God has told you to do it, amen, there's great repercussions for such a thing. Amen. And just because, every, and also, amen, just because an opportunity arises doesn't mean that it's God. Amen. There's going to be opportunities arise to you much, but it's going to take fasting. It's going to take praying. It's going to take, uh, it's going to take uh, go, uh, godly counsel. You must know that God has called you to do it. Amen. 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 I've had people ask me all the time, how do you know when God has called you? Amen. Well, I'm going to tell you, seek God and you will 
know it. Amen. I'm going to tell you this. Amen. Did I want to pastor? No. And there was a time where I didn't. But I'm going to tell you, I knew irrefutably when God told me I was going to pastor. And when my dad approached me and told me this is what he felt led of God with, it didn't take me long to know this is what God had for me to do. Amen. Why? Because the sheep know his voice. And he told me that's what he wanted me to do. I couldn't take it lightly because I knew this is what he wanted me to do. Amen. There could have been other opportunities arise that wasn't God. Amen. But I want to tell you, I knew that this was God. Amen. You must know that this call, amen, is of God. Amen. Don't take it lightly. Preachers, be dedicated to preaching. There's something wrong with a preacher that doesn't want to preach. Amen. I'm going to tell you this. Amen. You should, know, you should want to be busy of what God has called you to do. Amen. Be dedicated to preaching this gospel. Be dedicated and given over to preaching this gospel. Missionary, be dedicated to being a missionary. Amen. Amen. To the witness, be dedicated to being a witness. A street preacher, let's be dedicated to the street preacher. Amen. Whatever God has called you to do, be dedicated to what God has called you to do. As a preacher, I'm going to tell you, I must be dedicated to preaching this gospel. Amen. When it's easy to preach and when it's hard to preach. Amen. Is it always easy for me to step behind this pulpit and preach? No. Amen. Do I always feel like it? No. Amen. Does my body is my body tired sometimes? Absolutely. Amen. Do I feel do I always feel prepared to preach what God has had me to preach? No. But I want to tell you, God has called me to preach this word, and as long as I'm living holy before him and he speaks to me, I must preach what he has given me to preach. Amen. It doesn't go, it ain't about feelings. Amen. It's about knowing that God has called you. I don't care how I feel. If I feel like preaching, amen. Now, my body doesn't always feel like it, as I said. Amen. Even, amen. My, amen. Amen. I, amen. I, I, I'm trying to, try to spit out how to say it. But in my body, and sometimes even my spiritual man, and, or well, my, myself, does, my flesh doesn't want to preach. But I don't really, it doesn't matter what I feel like. It matters that God has called me and is and trust in me to preach this gospel and I must be dedicated to do what He has called me to do. Amen. Preacher, don't go by feelings. Amen. You ain't always going to feel like preaching this gospel. And there's going to be messages God gives you that your flesh really doesn't want to preach. But I amen. Be faithful and dedicated to what God has called you to do. Amen. Be found dedicated to do what God has called you to do. Missionaries, God may call you to somewhere where you really, it's not going to be easy to go. Amen. But be willing to do it. Amen. I'm going to tell you, as a pastor, but I'm a pastor, but I am a street preacher. God has called me. I do believe this is a part of my specific calling that God has called me to do. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, there's places that God has told me to go street preaching that it was not going to be easy to do. I feel led of God that I'm going to be going to Houston. Amen. In two weeks from yesterday, I'll be in Houston. It's a homosexual thing preaching. Is that an easy place to preach? Absolutely not. The hardest and the most wicked and evil place that I have ever preached. But I must be dedicated to the call of God to do what He has called me to do. Yes, amen. amen. It's not going to be easy. I've been spit on. Amen. And this, I, I think it's pretty nasty to be spit on by a sodomite. Amen. They, they get diseases. Amen. Because of their wickedness. Amen. It's not what, am I going to do what God has called me to do? Absolutely. It doesn't matter how hard it is. I could lose my very life by doing what God has called me to do. But I'm going to be dedicated anyways. Amen. That must be the attitude of the Christian. Yeah. Amen. No matter what it takes, amen, we're going to do it. My dad said he wished he, we had a church full of, uh, of uh, young people, uh, uh, young uh, teenagers, amen, I'm, uh, that was willing to give their life for the call. That must be the attitude. That's how you're going to win people truly to Jesus. You put, amen, put, uh, I think Brother Clinton said, put iron, it puts iron in your soul. Fill their pound pockets full of tracks, send them to the street corner, and they'll put iron in their souls. I'm going to tell you, that's what it's going to take to win 
in this generation. Amen. It's not going to be one by one by Christian rock. Absolutely not. They'll never truly be one. They may go to church, but they're not. Amen. They may be, they may go to these things, but they're not going it for the glory of God. They're doing it. Amen. For entertainment. But if you give, give them this gospel, amen, they will want to do something for God and eventually can would do it to lose their very life. Amen. Amen. I wasn't won by Christian rock music. I was won by the truth of God being preaching. Amen. And thank God He called me at the age of 16. Amen. Amen. I did what He had called me to do. Why? Amen. Because the truth was preached to me. It wasn't Christian rock that won me. Amen. It was that that was preach of the preaching of the truth of the Word of God. And that must be what we are doing. We must be dedicated, amen, and I do believe the whole church is dedicated to evangelism. Amen, amen, and I told you we'd get to more of it in a moment. Amen, we must be dedicated to doing a work for God. Yes, this Christians must be dedicated to bringing this gospel to a lost and dying world. The Bible teaches of multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Amen, every time it gets hard for me to go out on the street corner, I think of that verse, multitudes multitudes in the valley of decision. I think about these people needing Jesus. Amen. And Jesus deserves what it's all about really is Jesus deserves us, us making him known. Amen. We are all called to do this. As I told you before, you may not preach and you may not lift up your voice like I do on the streets. Amen. And we don't, amen. And women don't preach when we go out. Amen. But you can be just as much of a witness as us. Amen. Carry a pocket full of tracks. Be what God has called you to be. Carry a pocket full of tracks everywhere you go. Share somebody about Jesus. Tell somebody that Jesus has all repentance. Repent and believe the gospel today. Amen. We must be willing to make Christ known and lift Him up to a lost and dying world that He may be glorified and souls may be saved. Amen. This is a lost thing in much of the church today, especially the Pentecostal church. It's a shame that the Pentecostal church has left evangelism. Amen. Why? Because that first church that was evangelist in the book of Acts, they was evangelist in the book of Acts. That first church was a church of evangelism. Amen. And us as a Christians and us as Pentecostals, we must be a church that is willing to make Christ no, amen. What is this call all about? As I've already briefly mentioned, but this call is about one thing that God would receive the glory. Amen. Actually, I've all three of these calls that I've preached to you and everything that we're dedicated to. We're not dedicated to this for ourselves, uh, merely for ourselves or others. Amen. My, my dad said, This is not about people. Amen. It's about Jesus. Amen. That's that right. He would receive the glory. Yeah. Amen. I only why am I faithful to church? Amen. That Christ may receive the glory. Why am I faithful in giving my tithes? That Christ may receive the glory. Why do we live holy life? That Christ may receive the glory. Why do we preach this gospel? Why am I pastoring a church? Why do I raise my family godly? Why do I homeschool my children? Why do I put them in that secular school? That Christ may receive the glory. That's what it's all about. Why am I going to be? Why am I? Why and why? Why do I want to be a godly, uh, a godly husband? And eventually, when God blesses a godly father, that Christ may receive the glory. Amen. As you preach, always remember: it's not about you, and it's not about the people that's listening to you. Your primary audience yeah. is God, yeah. and we're doing it not to please men, but to please. God. Yes. Amen. If you'll remember this, that we're doing this always to please God and Him alone. Amen. I do believe souls will be blessed as well. I must always remember that I'm, when I go out there to preach, I'm not, I'm not doing this for men. I'm not going to make people happy and I'm not going to make people mad. I'm just to preach Jesus. 
Amen. And what He says in His Word. And share Him that He may be glorified and leave the result up to Him. Amen. That He may receive the glory. Amen. That's what it's all about. Amen. So as you, uh, as God has called you, Amen. To do whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Amen. Don't do it for yourself. Don't do it to make yourself known. Do it for the glory of God. Amen. We must be dedicated to what God has called us to do because we're dedicated to God receiving the glory. Amen. If you're dedicated to God receiving the glory and everything, you're going to be dedicated to everything else in that. Yes. All actuality. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you're dedicated to God to see the glory, you're going to be dedicated to preaching if you're a preacher. You're going to be dedicated to being a good pastor if God will make you a pastor. Amen. You're going to be dedicated to being a good missionary if God has called you to be a forward missionary or maybe even a missionary to your own country. You're going to be dedicated to what God has called you to do. Amen. If you're dedicated to God seeing the glory, you're going to be dedicated to evangelism. Amen. You're going to be dedicated to whatever God has called you to do in His kingdom and if you're dedicated to God receiving the glory, you will not take this calling lightly. Amen. You're going to do all things as to as unto God that He would receive that glory. Amen. And not unto, as unto men. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. Amen. Let's come to these altars and see.